What can $300 get you in Mall of Asia? Let's find out. For point of reference, 300 US dollars is equivalent to 12,884 Filipino pesos. Rates vary every day, so take this with a grain of salt. Located in the Pasay district of Manila, the Mall of Asia is the third largest mall in the world, scaling it at over 6.3 million square feet. With over 8,000 parking slots available and 1,000 stores to shop in, the mall attracts around 200,000 people per day. And let me tell you, the mall is just wild. Three main floors to shop in, hallways are bustling with people walking everywhere through this huge, beautiful building. Now, as a quick disclaimer, a lot of the items here can be found cheaper in other markets such as Green Hills since you can find bargain items for less money. Guys, for 1500 pesos or 35 Canadian dollars, this is what I'm getting, alpha bounces. And if you're the type of person who wants to collect souvenirs or items for a cheaper price, below MSRP. This video is not for you. There are other places outside of Manila or even inside of Manila such as Green Hills like I said that offer items at a lower price. However, if you're the type of person who's already inside the mall and you don't feel like driving through traffic and having to go miles away from the city, then this video may interest you. So we just came into the mall and it was breakfast time. Since we were really hungry and we wanted to eat something special, we went to Gary's Grill and ordered a wide variety of delicacies from the menu. So um, what we have here is iced tea, water, my cup, of course, and um, we have rice right here and beef caldereta and pancit canton. And that's not all. We bought sisig for 305 pesos, lumpiang shanghai for 235 pesos, chicken kebab for 285, and Gary's fried chicken for 395. So overall, while I didn't mention the prices for the other food we ate, apologies for that, the whole meal costs around 2562 pesos. And if we convert that, it is around 46 US dollars. Alright guys, so we're here in Razon's and um, what they sell is halo halo which is basically like a mixed dessert with ice and bananas, leche flan and young coconut and they also sell puto which is apparently a swear word in Spanish but in Tagalog it's rice cake and it tastes pretty good so before you judge us, well, try it first. Puto in Filipino is un postre. Oh, mira una gana de comerme tremendo puto. Mamá, quiero un puto. So you just mix it like this. The halo halo tasted really good and you guys should get it. It only costs 132 pesos here in the Philippines, which is $2.36 in the US. So after having breakfast and dessert, we decided to go fashion shopping so we went to Cultura to buy some shirts and souvenirs. And this is what I've got. So I know I'm filming this late at night but I never got to film this part when I was in MOA. Alright so this is the one that says Island Vibes and I really like this one because of the blue on navy blue. I, I like it. It only costed 200 pesos which is really nice and um, this didn't come from Kultura so we went to the SM supermarket and bought this shirt it's not a Filipino souvenir but I like to include it anyway because I couldn't find any of these t-shirts in Canada only in the Philippines and that cost it around um, 800 pesos originally but since there's a sale going on this is almost 50% off I actually got it for 400 pesos right here. And my personal favorite. This is the one with the badge that says proudly Pinoy right there. Um, yeah, I'll zoom it in real quick. And I know it's inverted right now, but don't worry, it's edited on video. And this costed me around um, 1100 pesos right here. Not only that, but we also bought keychains and refrigerator magnets. Ooh, check this keychain out. This is... 200 pesos. Not bad. And also, 
refrigerator magnet for 100 pesos. Also got this miniature jeepney for 400 pesos. Just looks pretty nice on my shelf. So we also decided to go to Ikea since it was just nearby. So they have the Philippines flag, Swedish flag, and the flag of Pasay City. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of footage here, but what I got was this cool Saxitan lamp for 790 pesos. It had this handmade traditional Filipino look to it. And the reason why I bought it in Ikea instead of Cultura is because the prices for the lamps with a similar size are actually quite more expensive. So it was a no-brainer to just go for this one instead. So it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon and we were getting hungry so for lunch we decided to go to Bread Talk to order a wide variety of bread. So mom what are you getting? Ensamada? I'm getting this. Ensamada? <laughs> oh I see. And we're also getting Sisimada for 51 pesos. Alright she's struggling to fit it in but there you go. Check that out. Holy, it's beautiful at night. Guys, this is Mall of Asia at night, and um, as you can see, it lights up thanks to the light bulbs here. And to finish off today, we decided to go to Cyber Zone to get some essentials. So you have a section for your laptops and smartphones, as well as a section for your cameras. I gotta say, since I love electronics, this place is like my dream world. Anyways, back to the topic, we had to buy a travel right. bag so we won't have to carry too many things at once. And I also needed a bag for university since I'm going for engineering. Oh, okay. Not bad. Yeah, I like the, um, the brown on black too. It's pretty fancy. Ooh, check this out. So, um, this one has the zipper behind. So it's safer. Right there. <laughs> so you can just put your laptop in there. <laughs> and last but not least, since we're going swimming a lot, we had to buy a waterproof bag. So we bought a 30 liter bag, which is around 2,500 pesos. When it's bubbled up like this, just clip it in, like pull it tight, and then from here on, just fold it from the front and then you can just close it like so so that brings us to the end Overall, from start to finish, we had a feast at Gary's Grill for 2562 pesos, Halo Halo at Razon's for 132, a keychain for 200, a fridge magnet for 100, a mini jeepney figure for 400 pesos, all the bread we bought from Bread Talk for 386, two bags we bought from Case Logic for 7800, and lastly, the waterproof bag for 2500. All adding to 16,682 pesos or $302.29. That's $2.29 above our $300 limit. But hey, you can do things differently. You can shop at different stores, or you can buy cheaper alternatives. And you don't have to buy everything that I bought from this video. I'm just showing you how much $300 can get you in Mall of Asia. And I hope it inspired some of you shoppers to check out what you can buy in a 24 hour time frame. Overall, while Mall of Asia isn't the most affordable mall in the world, I had a lot of fun strolling around this massive market. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch up to you later.